everyone. Here is my workout for today. I am much happier with the descent speed of my pull-ups this session. Last time I made that note where I think I rushed the descent. So I did get fewer reps, but I'm much happier with the descent speed. So I got a set of five and then two sets of four. And then I did banded ones for two sets of ten. And all these are really good. So got got a lot of volume in on my pull-ups. Uh, then I did bent over row. I did one set of 115 times 8. So yeah, I can, I'm officially bent over rowing when I squat. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, but then I did uh, bent over row 110 times 9. And then 105 times 2 sets of 10. So a lot of volume on the pull-ups and a lot of volume on the bent over row. Then I went into my one arm dumbbell row and I tried the 60 pound dumbbell again, but I still only got sets of six. So I really can't get that seventh rep. Um, but I, and then I superset it with like kind of my cable one arm uh, pull down. And uh, then I lightened up the one arm dumbbell row and did 45 pounds times nine. And then I did uh, just some cable bicep uh, curl things, uh, superset with incline dumbbell hammer curls, which I really, I'm really digging those incline dumbbell hammer curls. I'm going to stick with those for a while. Uh, I don't find them as boring as other bicep exercises. So that's good. And I guess, uh, just one thing that I kind of want to note, I don't know if many people noticed or if anybody noticed, I uploaded a random short about my, um, diet. Um, just somebody asked me, hey, you want to let us know kind of what your diet is or whatever? And I thought, yeah, sure, that'd be cool. So I just made a little short thing about my boring, my boring freaking diet. And um, then somebody was trying to guilt me because I eat chicken. <laughs> so, oh my god, I'm, a, I'm, I'm like a wannabe bodybuilder that likes chicken and eggs. Um, call the popo on that one. Um, I just can't believe sometimes when people think that just because your opinions and beliefs and you're passionate about them, which is great, be passionate about your opinion and beliefs, but to think that you're somehow more virtuous than somebody else because they don't share those beliefs, um, I mean, that's just not so. I don't understand these people always try to kind of like force other people into their beliefs um, because I respect, I respect people's beliefs. And I'm not just talking about like if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, I'm talking about all across the board. I respect your beliefs. If you want to have certain religion, if you want to have certain political beliefs, if you want to have your random beliefs uh, from everything from protein powder to who you vote for, have at her. But don't try to like convert me into your crap because uh, I don't I don't need that. Um, and you're not more virtuous. What's virtuous about trying to make a complete stranger feel guilt uh, for how they live their life? Um, you know, when it's like say it's not harming anybody, but it's harming the poor chickens. And you went, no, I don't care. Maybe I'm evil. I'm an evil, horrible person. But I don't give a crap. Um, it was tasty. And I uh, have enough things in my life that I feel uh, immense guilt for. Things that I shouldn't feel guilt for. I pretty much constantly have guilt-induced anxiety. The last thing I need is to feel guilty for enjoying my uh, enjoying my meat, enjoying my kraken. Uh, oh, uh, think about that. I need to take up my time. I'm going to have chicken thighs tonight. Uh, because that's my favorite kind of chicken. And uh, I do like to kind of have that as like my, uh, I don't think that I should call it a cheat meal because why is it a cheat meal? It's just boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Um, but I consider it a cheat meal just because it's really, really tasty. Um, it's more tasty than the breast variation. Um, and uh, I just like to have it on nights that I feel like might be special nights. And <laughs> it's not, this night is not really special but I try to just make very unspecial things special um just so I have things to look forward to I think that's a good thing a good healthy thing to do it's like oh yeah tonight is gonna be a really great night um because I'm gonna put on my special little um Christmas lights in my room and enjoy my chicken thighs and enjoy uh episodes of Law and Order SVU and when I say that I mean um Law and Order SVU I'm watching the old ones well, the new ones aren't back on yet, but I'm watching season one. I mean, that man, that was some good writing. It just takes me back. But it's much better writing than it is now. And that's another thing. It's because that show's getting all virtuous. So I didn't even realize that this uh, series of rambling was going to come back full circle. 
uh, to the virtue crap because now all the new episodes of Law and Order SVU are very like virtue signally, um, preachy, preachy. We're all you know better than you because uh, of how we feel about things. The old episodes they were not like that. They were just some hard hitting storytelling. Uh, and just really great acting, really great writing, and just very entertained. So I really look forward to that. Uh, so yeah, I never thought that I'd be able to connect this, uh, complaining about this chicken thing, uh, to Detective Stabler. But no, no and behold, my brain sometimes, uh, connects itself to, uh, connects itself to the original thought. Um, I guess another thing on that too, uh, about the virtuous stuff, it, it, it's kind of can, can cross across all boards because, even in the fitness world, I'm not better than somebody that's not into fitness. And that's, um, I think that's a really important mindset to have and a really important mindset to share because I think sometimes people might get intimidated by the fitness world because maybe too many fitness influencers or too many um, really gung-ho fitness people kind of have that mentality that they are better than those that are not into fitness. And I don't think that that's, um, I don't think that that's, uh, I think that's a pretty bad and toxic thing because a lot of people have wonderful things to contribute in the world versus, um, you know, uh, uh, now I've lost my train of thought. A lot of people have wonderful things to contribute to this world that have nothing to do with fitness. I could say that fitness is, um, is, is a lot of vanity. It has health and life, healthy lifestyle, a lot of vanity involved. So if you're not into fitness at all, but you're doing some amazing thing to like save children or something like that, then I mean, you're a hell of a lot better than somebody that just cares about a bicep pump. <laughs> so I mean, no, I'm not better than than somebody that doesn't lift. And people come in all shapes and sizes and a muscular person is not just better somehow better because of the lifestyle that they live or virtuous or somehow superior just because uh you know they want to they love their vegetables and that they really care about being fit it really is just a lifestyle choice it's a lifestyle preference and this is what makes me feel happy and i'm not better than somebody that does not do this because it does not make them feel happy and fulfilled just different strokes for different folks and again somehow i've come back full circle because it's the same thing. If not eating chicken makes you feel good and happy, then don't eat chicken. Um, but don't make somebody else think that you know they're a shitty person because they do and they don't feel any guilt about it. Um, look at that. I'm still connecting stuff. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching this video and have a great Monday, everybody. Bye.